characterization of filter response. There's basically four kinds of filters that we want to talk about. Low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop. And these diagrams show how we define those particular responses. In each case, I'm showing you a transducer power gain, a TPG, which infers a particular choice of nominal input and output impedances. So we're assuming that the input and outputs are matched to whatever specified impedances we have selected for this filter. Although normally we choose the same input and output impedance, uh, that's not always the case. By saying TPG here, we can gloss over that particular issue. And then on the horizontal axis, we have frequency. And for low pass and high pass responses, we typically define a cutoff frequency. And the cutoff frequency is typically the point at which the response is 3 dB down from its maximum response. And its maximum response is less than 0 dB by amount referred to as the insertion loss. Similarly, for the high pass filter, we define the cutoff frequency to be the point at which the response is 3 dB down from its maximum value. And its maximum value is down from 0 dB by the insertion loss. For the bandpass filter, we define a center frequency and then also a 3 dB bandwidth. And 3 dB bandwidth is defined by the points at which the response is 3 dB down from the maximum value. And once again, the maximum value is less than 0 dB by the amount we define as being the insertion loss. And then we have a very similar definition for the band stop filter which is designed to exclude a particular range of frequencies uh, in a notch type response. Although this might be quite a bit wider than what you'd refer to as a notch filter, which would look more like this. We refer to it instead as a band stop filter. 